I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. <laughs> and together we're our time of the month. And today we're doing a video that sounded so great in theory until we realized how much work it's going to be, but we're bringing you our fall fashion favorite. FFF. Triple F. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be trying on some of the outfits that we have been finding ourselves wearing or reaching for over and over since the slight fall weather has begun. I had to finally bust out my barefoot dreams like little wrap cardigan doodad thing. I busted that out at work the other day. Yeah. And then I slept with my windows open last night and I was chilly and I loved it. It was great. I slept in 42 degree weather the other night outside. <laughs> well, Don't recommend. You were camping. Y yes. It's not like you were no, forced. Mike kicked me out. So, I mean, for your fall style, yeah. where, what have you been gravitating towards? Crunchy, outdoorsy. I look like I might be ready to go on a hike at any given moment. Okay. Yes, I see that. Okay. What's yours? I don't know if there's like a, a word for it. Yeah. One, it's neutral. Yes. Same. There's like no actual colors involved other than my blue hair, which, yeah. which happened yesterday. Um, but no, so it's black, white, it's tan. Uh -huh. Lots of tans and browns. Lots of tans and brown. Well, not brown, but tan and black. Okay. That's like my, and then it's probably, it's like very kind of like structured plain pieces, but a lot of layering. Yeah. I, I read, that. Uh, not a read. I think I saw a TikTok the other day from a stylist that said like an, out an outfit is six pieces or like something like that. Does that include shoes? Like, yes, I think so. Like okay. one, like a one or two is clothes. <laughs> okay. And then it's like, she had a whole thing, but she was like, yeah, it takes like six pieces for it to become like an outfit ensemble. I kind of agree with that. Like I'm constantly thinking of little things I can pair or like different switch ups to my bags and stuff. I didn't bring any like handbags to show you. I didn't even bring any shoes. That's okay. It's too much. I mean, in every clothes trying on montage in the history of cinema, cinema, <laughs> there has been a bottle of champagne. Is that what we're referring cinema? to? Cinema? The video? theater? Cinema. Yes. It's a cinematic experience. I mean, it is theatrical. So today we're going to be drinking the Sauvage Blank de Blank. Blankety Blank. Blankety Blank. Don't I talk love back. A, I love a green bottle. It's an American sparkling wine. It's a zero dosage. Don't I don't know, know what that means. means. I popped a bottle of champagne camping in the woods. Yeah? Did yeah. you just let the cork fly? I did, but I found oh. it. Lovely. What a nice That little... was a really robust. <gasps> yeah, but then no um, no crazy like overflow bubbles and I was like kicking this around in my car, so. Be you wearing your um, maroon mascara today? I am, of I, course. It looks beautiful. I can't cry, I'm not allowed to cry. Oh, blood tears. I am seeing my family today, so I could cry. Oh, you are seeing them today? Yeah, I'm gonna go see um, Aunt Dana and Gigi. Nice. Mm -hmm. In case you die. In case I die, but also like, we're having pizza and salad, the Hammer family meal. Yum, homemade pizza or still, like, where do you buy it? I don't know, where's it frozen? Cheers. Hey, cheers. I like this. It's a uh, light. It's quite um, sour. Very apple-y. Yeah. I'm into it though, I do like it. It's crisp. Crisp, that's the word. Crisp. Crisp. Um, so I got this from Off the Rocks on Eastern Avenue in uh, Baltimore, so if you're around, the, around town, Stop in, they have a great selection. They're like the most helpful people I've ever met. Okay, are you ready to start like changing clothes? First outfit is very simple. My jeans are old loft skinny jeans. My shoes are just a nice, very neutral basic slide on mule. Highly recommend because they look good with almost everything and they're easy. Then this is just a really cute flannel that I got at Duluth Trading Company because I'm so outdoorsy. This is probably one of the most unique flannels I've ever purchased because it has a built-in glasses cleaning Stop. channel. Stop! Nerd. And it just fits really well. This isn't a size small, so I feel like it is nice and roomy for layering. And then on the back, when I do my hawk, <gasps> when I do my hawk pose, it stretches. It's elasticized, but it's hidden. That's hilarious. Isn't that the, the coolest thing you've is ever seen? A gusset. But I think this looks great if you just like want to tuck it a little bit, tuck one side, tie it. I usually wear like a little white tank top under it. In a similar color wave as Danielle's, uh, I just have like an old loft chambray shirt on but then this is probably one of the pieces that i end up building almost all of my outfits around is this j crew sweater blazer um and i find myself wearing it all of the time because it's really comfortable it's an easy thing to throw on um and then a pair of black judy blue uh jeans with a little bit of what is 
is distressing. Distressing. I mean, it's past distressing. These are just fucking holes. They're Knee stressed. Holes. Yes. They're super, super um, well fitted to my shape. Like there's no gap here at all, mm -hmm. which is just amazing. Okay, so similar to Caitlin, I also have a chambray shirt. I think this is a staple piece that everyone needs because you can roll up the sleeves, you can tuck it in, you can layer it like she was showing you. Mine is a little bit lighter. This is from J. Crew Factory and it's quite old, but you can find them anywhere. And then another flannel that I've really been reaching for a lot lately is this one by REI and it's their REI co-op brand. You know, it's a bit more of a performance flannel versus a fashion flannel and that's really what I tend to gravitate toward because it does keep me so warm and you know it's a nice nice fun color so same black jeans Judy blue and then I just traded it out traded out the top for this tan colored loft sweater um, and then this jacket is the other piece that I find myself building around 24 7 because again it's a really great layering piece I find that the color just goes with everything and so I will toss it on with almost any outfit uh, it is also loft uh, from multiple years ago but there's a ton of similar pieces from like every other company I have a sort of lacy cami here typically I would tuck the front end to my jeans here and I have a little bit of an oversized blazer this is from Target sometimes they're you know hit or miss with the quality of their pieces but this was one from last year and it was really great it's by a new day and I just think this is super fun because you can make it more casual but you can also dress it up a bit so I would wear this with jeans, I would wear it with these jeans. You could pull one of the colors from this and do a cami like that, but I just think this is really fun and makes me feel really put together, but for low effort. Okay, the thing that you probably can't tell about these pants on like first sight is that they are actually cropped and slightly belled. Um, these were given to us by a style studio. They are DLs and they're this really beautiful terracotta color. I personally can't wrap my mind around pairing them with anything other than white. I don't know why. Um, but so I usually end up with just a white top. This is not the one I intended because it's a little long. But again, throw on the green jacket makes it so that I can like during the day take the jacket off because it's warm enough with the sun out. But then once it gets a little chilly, I just throw this on and all of a sudden it's a brand new outfit. Okay, this is another blazer option. This one I find to be a little bit more dressy. This I got at Nordstrom Rack this year, so I will link it if I can find it. It doesn't really come across as casual and oversized as the other one, but I still like to zhuzh up the sleeves a little bit just to make me feel more like me. Like, I'm not a very professional work environment person. Like, I don't have to dress up for work. So typically I would wear um, a more cream colored cami with this. And then another thing that I like is just going to Goodwill or Salvation Army or thrift stores and finding vintage blazers like this or just jackets, but it was affordable. It was like $5 and I just think it's nice to throw on over just a basic t-shirt or anything like that. Again, pair it with mules, boots, whatever, but um, be checking those parts of the thrift stores because I have found so many fun fall blazers just like this for cheap. Okay, next up is this uh, either TJ, no, I think this is actually a Nordstrom Rack skirt. It's like very silky, midi length, comes down like mid calf, which is really great. I also have paired this with tights, which is awesome for a little bit more warmth. And then this actually is also a Nordstrom Rack cashmere v-neck sweater. I wear it all of the time. It's extremely oversized and comfortable and honestly needs to be sweater shaped so bad. But I just find that it can, it goes with everything. I feel like that's the definition of my style. Every piece has to go with everything. Otherwise, I'll never wear it. Okay, this piece is a bit more casual. This is like a huge oversized sweater jacket coat thing. I will say the pockets are really low. Like I gotta hunch over to get to the pockets, which is weird, but I like the oversized neckline of it. I like that I can just kind of like bundle myself up in it. It's got this nice sort of herringbone pattern and this rust color throughout it. Uh, the brand is Mac Studio. Again, got it at Marshalls. No, where did I get this? Nordstrom Rack. So I will link it if I can find it. And this is just like easy, easy, easy. Throw it on, you look put together, but you're really, really cozy and warm and just comfortable, you know? This is my most complimented outfit. It is, what you can't tell is it looks like a romper, but it's not. It's actually two pieces. This is an Old Navy ribbed turtleneck. I'm sure you could find something similar this year. And then these are a pair of loft pants. They're actually 
much too big for me, so I have them hiked all the way up to my rib cage, and then they're drawstring. So I just have them pulled really tight, and they have pockets, which is great. And then I will throw a jacket on over top, and then all of a sudden, it like, it's a look, you guys. And it's also like wearing pajamas. I could wear this every single day. I may be wearing this every single day. Now we have a jacket. If you have seen anything that I've posted lately on, oh, a mask, on Instagram, you've probably seen me wear this jacket a hundred times because I freaking love it. This was a splurge item to myself from Anthropology. It's just one of these like very sherpy -y jackets that has a little bit of corduroy piping and also collar, nice big tortoiseshell buttons, big huge pockets. Ooh. And I just throw this on with everything. I take it camping. I find it to be very warm. It's also just kind of oversized. I call it my Fozzie Bear coat, so I do love this. Other jackets that I really like for this time of year and all times of the year, get yourself a good denim jacket. This one is very well worn, even when I bought it. It's by Levi's. I don't know what style it is, but it is a men's, so it's a little bit oversized. And it just fits me so well, and it's very, really casual and effortless. Another thing that I think is great this time of year, vests. So this one is more outdoorsy. I use it when I go hiking or camping. It's by Patagonia. These are just great to throw on. Maybe you might be a little hot for this jacket, but this would be perfect over like a flannel or a long sleeve t-shirt, something like that. I did want to mention a few different accessories and shoes that I'm using to switch up my routine this fall. I recently purchased these Asporcha Gaza's Chelsea booties. They are felt, they're made from recycled cork, and they're extremely warm because they're wool. As you can see, they kind of have a sort of Birkenstock inspired bottom, extremely comfortable, super cozy. You can wear them with or without socks depending on how you feel about that. But I really love these. Uh, again, it's like a slipper that you can wear outside of the house. Then these, if, if you read Wild and you saw Cheryl Strayed's cover of the book, you wanted the Danner boots that were on the cover, and those are $400, which I'm not gonna pay. So I bought these Sorel, Sorel Lennox lace-up boots. They're absolutely amazing. They're waterproof, they have a lug sole, great grippy bottom, love the red laces. Can't recommend these enough. I've been wearing them nonstop. I also find myself reaching for bandanas and handkerchiefs a lot right now. I really love these two uh, just because I feel like I can match them with most of my outfits. I can tie them around my neck. I can tie them up in my hair. I can throw it on the dog if need be. And then I also have a couple fancier options here. These are more silk inspired scarves. They're actually from Amazon. And to me, they were quite reminiscent of the Gucci patterns. And I just think these are so beautiful and timeless. And I really love this blue one especially for this time of year. One thing I also would like to mention is that I think because I wear so much clothing that's so plain, um, I do way less patterns in the fall than I, than I do in the summer. In the summer I do a lot of florals, a lot of dresses, but once I start getting into like black on black, then to punch it up, I will often add some sort of patterned scarf, obviously leopard is a fave, um, and either tie it around my neck and look like a flight attendant, or I will even sometimes, and this is like a little, I don't know, twee, but like I'll do a ponytail and I'll tie it up there and I'll look like Sandra D. So those were our fall fashion finds. Hideous, great, you, you name it, let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think of them. Uh, if we're missing any like pertinent pieces, is there anything else? Housekeeping. Uh, how, uh, no, comment, like, and subscribe, please. I mean, you should have already done it. To be fair, I thought we've like trained you enough. You would think it's we've only reminded you approximately 300 times. How many videos do we have? Almost 300. Yeah, and every single time we've told you. So like, I'm not trying to be a nag. So find us on Instagram, find us on YouTube, find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook, Facebook Twitter. Um, what's on your mouth? Mm, uh, it's really kind of a cheat because it's like three different things. She does it every time. Uh huh. I tell ya. Scoundrel. Scoundrel. So one is oh. the NYX Professional Glow. What shade is this? I'm pretty sure when you got it, it was like a nameless shade, which was super boring. Yeah, I don't know what shade this is, but it's pink. Born to Hustle? No, I think that's just the. Um, it's the High Pigment Lip Shine, and it's, I guess, SLHP01. Helpful, it's this. And then I did top it a little bit with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Topaz. Nice. 
I reached in for an old favorite oh. today. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which, God, like I probably haven't touched this in maybe a year. It's still just as creamy, just as lovely as it always was. And then I did put a little bit of the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint in Primal Instinct over it. Mm. And it's in the same color family. It just kind of glossed it and livened it up a bit. You know, I didn't buy a single thing at TJ Maxx the other day. I didn't buy a single thing at Marshall's. We are growing. Cheers. I had things in my cart. I almost got the most amazing Rachel Zoe like little top coat thing. That's mm -hmm. not quite a coat, not a blazer. I put it back. Yeah, I was like, if I don't buy a piece of clothing or a pair of shoes, mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to buy any of the rest of this oh, stuff. Oh, that's smart. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Like Caitlin said, like, comment, subscribe. You know, mm -hmm. we're reminding you. Okay. Watch our last video. Next. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. And then, you know, let us know if you're done. If you've reached the end. What's the prize? Uh, I'm sure there are people that have done it. I don't there know. I wish you could tell. Things. I wish you could, like, log in and tell, like, who's... We can keep track. Yeah, the analytics don't go that deep. Okay. We love you and we're gonna cut it. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, happy Halloween. Oh.